Hey guys, so I'm parked outside of Starbucks right now. I'm sorry that I'm doing yet another video in my car, but um, the internet went out at my house, so I thought, you know what, I need coffee anyway. So um, here I am. Anyway, so yesterday I mentioned um, some things that people do wrong in their marketing and they don't even realize it. Maybe doing nothing was wrong or maybe they were trying something new and they weren't quite getting it. All that's fine. But today I kind of wanted to specifically talk about email marketing because that's kind of something that isn't talked about a whole lot. So when I first started out email marketing, I really wasn't sure what to say, which is okay because you don't usually when you first start out. So. Subject lines are one of the most important things that you can have in your emails. If the subject line fails to do its job, then there's no point in even writing the email, the actual body, because it's not getting opened. So the subject line is meant to get their attention, state something, and make them feel like they need to open it. So the thing you want to avoid in your subject lines are things like dollar signs around your name. Um, Anything that sounds cheesy, if you get really salesy sounding, then that's not going to work out very well. I get a lot of those, actually. Um, all these different marketers trying to sell me things or get me to work with them. And often I don't even open them because their subject line is so bad that either my spam filter gets it or I just don't even open it. So you don't want that to happen. Also, your subject lines don't really even have to make a whole lot of sense. So, um... One of the most open emails I got in the very beginning when I started email marketing was the subject line was don't drop that thun thun thun. Okay, and the reason everyone opened that one is because they probably thought it was going to be some nasty twerking video. But other than that, they're probably wondering, okay, how does this have anything to do with business at all? So you can make them kind of quirky or weird or maybe, um, you know, try to mix it with pop culture a little bit and just see how your list responds to different things. Mine, um, for some reason, they like really weird stuff. So often my subject lines are kinda, kinda stupid sounding, but everyone opens them. So that works for me and my list, but something else might work different for you. Also, in the body of your email, don't use a lot of symbols, exclamations, don't type in caps too often, don't use words like rich or sale or, um, instant money or things like that because if they have a good um, email like if they use Gmail or iCloud or Yahoo a lot of the emails you send out are going to end up in their spam so certain words and symbols and even the way you order some things can trigger spam folders so filters I mean not folders <laughs> um, so I subscribe to my own email list because I want to see what it's looking like to them I want to see what they're seeing so if any of my emails end up going into um, my spam folder, often I will review that email and say, okay, what was it that I did that made it go into the spam, go into my spam folder? What did I say? Did I, you know, did I use a certain word? And um, there's actually a book about that that I have that I've been going over about words not to use. So, um, avoid a lot of exclamations, typing in all caps, using words like rich, money, sale, bonus, um, I'm trying to think of another one that might trigger, um, like percent signs, like if you say like 25% or something like that, often that will have a really, really negative impact. So I try to avoid things like that, and, um, also when you're first learning out to write emails, when you're first learning how to do all that, you're probably on someone's email list right now, so if you're following any marketers, my suggestion is look at the way they write and by hand, on paper, I want you to write out their emails. Don't copy them, but try and see how their flow is, how their voice is, how they order things, and um, eventually you'll get your own voice and your own flow and it'll work really well for you. So I hope that was helpful. Um, again, I'm sorry that I'm in my car once again, but, um, when my internet's fixed, I'll probably have a more stable area to do this. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Speak soon.